What's up YouTube, Sean here. So, this is the uh, second vlog for uh, Flickering Reflections short film I am doing. This is the director's vlog. Um, if you haven't seen vlog one, um, that, uh, I could, actually I could put that probably in the description link below, but also, um, that'll just be on my YouTube channel under the director's vlog for Flickering Reflections. Uh, I'll have a whole playlist for it. Um, may even put it on a website eventually, who knows. Um, and I'm going to try to upload these also to uh, the other terrainy media as well. Actually, I'll upload that, this one for sure there. Um, anyway, so you're probably like, why is this quality so much better? I decided to use a different camera for this one. Uh, last director's vlog, I just shot with my cell phone. Didn't really turn on lights, just whatever um i know that's not very really filmic like me but anyway so this i'm shooting this on a better camera um anyway so i just wanted to talk about what we did today this is kind of day two of pre-production um i mean really it's probably more than that but as far as official day two um um it's like a week about a week later from the previous one um, so I got together with the actor that I ended up casting, Joshua, which I mentioned in my last vlog, and uh, we went over the script. So the script idea was basically done. I mean, the, the 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 script was as a whole was done. We just needed to make some tweaking to some of the dialogue and um, make changes that would fit the character better as a whole and my actor. Um, to really refine that, make it easier for him, um, bring his own character in involvement into it, and just make it overall easier and more understandable. Um, the way I wrote it was very, not necessarily modern, um, contextually, like, like uh, I guess that's not the right word, but just it wasn't very modern, a lot of the dialogue wasn't. And we wanted to kind of dumb down some of it, to make it more everyday um, to a degree. We didn't want to take away from the message or the, the character whatsoever. So we made sure we were real careful about how we chose what we did for what, um, you know, the, the dialogue changes that we made. Uh, so it was uh, myself, the producer, and the lead actor going over the dialogue. Um, since he has most of the speaking lines, uh, that was the main the the bulk of the lines or was the main actor so the point was to really make sure that um dialogue was on point for him um so brought my production binder there and uh which has all the necessary information in there and uh so i just see lots of notes and adjustments so one of the things i mean Every page has, is like this one's ridiculous. I mean, I don't see all that, but there's a whole lot on there. Anyway, so later tonight, I'm going to go ahead and type all that up, fix it, and then send it out to all the people that need to get it. Um, my uh, obviously the lead actor, the producer, the AD, um, uh, just all the people that need it for for the project, including the script supervisor. She definitely needs it. Um, and so we have all that done, taken care of. Uh, I'm going to give him a few days to uh, practice it. Hopefully in a few days he is ready to uh, sit down and kind of read it with me, practiced so he's comfortable. And then what I plan on doing at that point is go through a full reading with him from front to back and kind of pre-guide a little bit of what I'm looking for out of, out of each scene. Um, from him kind of see so I know that he's comfortable with the lines to where he's not having to worry about just reading the lines off he's comfortable has familiarity with the lines so that I can just direct him in the direction I want to go so we don't have to spend as much time on set so it, I'm hope my hope is that this will increase our workflow once we do start filming that uh, It'll be a lot easier for not only him, but everybody else on, on cast 
and crew um, because I, I have a feeling if I don't it could run over time a lot and I already see three full production days out of this thing and uh, I don't want to have to have to reshoot certain uh, locations or do multiple days the same location if I don't have to and I think this might help ensure that I don't so that's my plan of attack where we're going right now um, overall I think the character and the process uh, today we spent about three hours uh, reading line by line going over every single line of dialogue that's in the entire script and um, tweet like I mean mo like probably half the lines didn't get changed but you know adding pauses here commas there just different edits changing words um, uh, meetings um, defining some of the multiple multiple personalities a little better uh, so it's easier for my lead actor to um, look at it as two separate people even though it's the same person in a way there's there's multiple personalities there and so we define those uh, characters basically for him and so I want to type it up I'm going to separate those out it'll probably end up making the script more pages but uh, uh, be easier for him to read easier for him to learn and I think easier for people on set to follow because um, some of it is really confusing a lot of the dialogue is can be really confusing and uh, it's kind of written that way on purpose it definitely has there's a lot of confusing parts in it done completely on purpose that way. So I didn't want to, um, I want to kind of mislead the viewer a little bit here and there, but when we were reading it today, I was really realizing how confusing some of it really is, especially when you have other people reading it and people trying to figure out what's going on. And I don't want, you know, my script supervisor and just everybody in cast to be like, was that how it was supposed to be and just make it try to make it less confusing for everybody so that was that was one of the goals today and i think we accomplished that and i'm going to type it up in a way that uh, they can they can read it better and follow it better make it easier to understand um so if you're writing a, a any kind of thing like i am this this piece is definitely my end goal I, hopefully when you finish watching it is going to be like I'm not totally sure what I, how I saw it happening. You know, what I mean, so that's my goal for for this is to really like make sure that uh, kind of leave the viewer hanging a little bit. I, I mean, I'm gonna give some closure in the piece. Don't get me wrong. There's gonna be some closure in it. I don't, I don't want to give it away, obviously, but um, there's gonna be some closure in it. But at the same time, you're gonna be like, well, I'm not sure what I just watched. And that you're gonna be questioning it. My goal is to make you kind of question it and question what's going on. And you know, it, it's basically a story where I'm kind of writing the middle of the story. Like, th this short piece is kind of right in the middle of what could be. And um, so, you know, if, it, if, it, if people like it, who knows, we might make more. But Right now, we're just trying to get this done, and and uh, I think the produ my producer read it. You know, he liked it, but it was still very confusing for him when he was reading it for the first couple of times, even today. And then when we sat down, went over the line by line. I was able to break down kind of what was going on, and I even confused myself in it because it, it, the character is so confusing. And when you have your actor reading stuff and you have other people questioning and, and they see it one way, and you're like, well, I didn't realize they could see it that way. And so you start getting confused yourself. So it, it was definitely, it's been about three hours, like looking over a nine page, or I think it's nine pages, nine page script, three hours for a nine page script. It, there's some very confusing parts in it and uh, just the way the dialogue was written. So, um, that's kind of the way I work. I, I like when I'm writing the script, I'm, I'm sure I, I don't do it like the traditional way um, and I'm fine with that you know uh, I, I write when I'm describing scenes I'll even sometimes put like camera moves or 
the way I want to seem to look visually in the description, mostly for my own sake later when I'm when I'm doing a shot list or when I'm planning the scenes, I know what was going through my mind originally when I wrote it. And so that way I have a better understanding of where I'm going with it. So it isn't always traditional in that aspect. Um, but uh, I think my dialogue and stuff is generally correct. Uh, of course, I probably should have split the lead character into the multiple personalities um, and defined it better. So I guess live and learn, right? Um, but like when I'm writing stuff, I, I start talking and start going, and I don't want to forget stuff, so I just start writing, even though some stuff might be wrong. Anyway, so that was generally what we did today and what I plan on doing. Um, anyway, if you haven't done it yet, go over to our Facebook page for flickering reflections it'd be just uh, uh, I'll put it in the link description below I believe it's facebook.com forward slash flickering reflections I th think there's no space in it but for sure uh, I'll just make sure I put that in the description box below so I'm not sure if there's a space or not off the top of my head off to look um, go over that there and like the page uh, share it with your friends uh, we'll try to put some behind the scenes stuff up there time to time as we go uh, I don't want to give away too much, though, but um, it's going to be a really awesome film, I think. Um, people are getting excited about it. I, I think a lot of people will like the story. The people who read the script, most people that have read the script have been like, wow, it's awesome. So I can't wait to start filming. Anyway, so till next time, um, make sure you hit subscribe like this video share it with your friends um, or you can dislike it if you want I mean it's pretty cool though